ยาดาดายาดาดายักมาทีวีไม่ก็ลาไม่ subscribe with your guy man fresh out the gym man the clothes the uh the clothes and the nappy beanie you know what I mean nigga fresh from a workout man this my workout gear you yeah, did huh but what's up with the nation man huh five one three in the building man having problems with the uh, technical problems the fuck is up with the motherfucking Samson 10 nigga <laughs> the fuck is up with the Samson man god damn let's talk about it man there's gonna be a full Sharif edition, man. You know what I mean? Got lace nigga shoes on this one, man. You know what I mean? No fuckery. We ain't about to be joking and clowning. Sid committee, I know y'all ready like a motherfucker, man, but we gotta get real in the field one time, man, because I'm here to teach. You know what I mean? Period. I'm here to teach and elevate, motivate. You know what I mean? School. Period. Then we could joke around with that shit later. You know what I mean? But the problem with the OGs, man, we ain't been giving the game to the youngsters, so... This is my attempt to give game to the youngsters. Even if I don't know you, you could tap in with this motherfucker, man, and soak it up like a sponge. You did? Straight up. Sharif in the motherfucking building, bro. Period. Sharif! <laughs> Pure Sharif edition, my nigga. Fuck it, man. So look, we're going to talk about owners instead of being loners. You get it? Be an owner instead of a motherfucking loner, my G. And what I mean by that is... Let's own this shit instead of getting a loan. You dig? So, say for instance, every record deal is a fucking loan, my nigga, with the worst interest rate ever. That's what it is. Now, you could be a loaner or you could be an owner where you could work and put your own money into your own self and make 100% profit. No 360, no none of that shit. No nigga taking your publishing, your show money, none of that shit that these record labels trying to do. You know what I mean? Be a owner instead of a loner, my nigga. That's a bank loan, my nigga. A record deal is a bank loan, my nigga. We got to get on our Sam Cook. you know what I mean? Own shit, own motherfucking publishing companies. It's all digital right now. Get a digital company and run your play, nigga. Everything is at the push of a button, my nigga. You dig? I understand you niggas in these nice apartments and shit that overlook, you know what I mean? Downtown, wherever you at. Fuck an apartment, man. That motherfucking $3,500 or $4,000 you paying a month, nigga, you could be paying mortgage, my nigga. You know what I mean? Put that big money that you about to pay for a Rolex down on the house, nigga. That you about to pay for a car down on the house, nigga. You know what I mean? Grab equity out. Own property, my nigga. Period. You did play real life Monopoly, my nigga. It's that easy. The same shit you spent that $30,000, $40,000 on that Rolex, nigga, you could have bought some land, nigga. Period. Facts, nigga. You know what I mean? It's cool to have a little shiny Rolex, but it's better to own a piece of land. Ugh. Fuck the little ass watch, man. I own this many acres and this tall of a motherfucking house and this big of a motherfucker. That's huge, my nigga. Get some commercial property. The same fucking 10, 15, 20,000 you done spent on your chain. You can open a barbershop, a nail shop, commercial property. You know what I mean? You could get a kiosk in the mall, nigga, and sell what the fuck you want for that. You know what I mean? So let's be wise with our money, my nigga. Let's not let Nipsey Hussle death, you know what I mean? Uh not be uh respected or his mission not be respected, man. That man showed you how to be independent, how to buy and per invest in a commercial property, and then you know you can win. I seen Nipsey hustle for the longest with the same Rolex and the same Malcolm X uh, chain. For the longest. He didn't give a fuck about buying new jewelry. He was trying to buy a new motherfucking fat burger. He was trying to buy a new motherfucking marathon. Like, he's trying to buy that whole shopping center, which he did. You know what I mean? That was his mission. He didn't give a fuck about it. He had money to buy a million chains if he wanted to. He just wore that one chain, that one Rolex, and kept grinding. Kept getting more and more commercial property. And look at that nigga now. You know what I mean? Look at his worth, his network. I bet his network was crazy. You know what I mean? Network was crazy. Period. The nigga owned the whole shopping center. The whole little plaza. He owned that shit. Period. All the motherfuckers that got a, a business right there, they rent from him, my nigga. That's huge. That's motivation, my G. You did? Don't let his death go to waste, my nigga. Take notes. He gave us a motherfucking blueprint. Use it. 
Use it, my G. Use it, man. Be an owner instead of a loner, my nigga. You dig? It's time. It's time, my nigga. Build old folks home something. Invest in something, my nigga. Commercial property, anything, my G. You know what I mean? And then plant your seeds and, and reap the benefits after you plant the seeds. You know what I mean? But plant the seeds, man. Plan for the next 10 years, the next 20 years, man. Don't plan for the day, my nigga. Plan for the next 20 years, man. What we gonna be looking like in 10 years? What we gonna be looking like in 20 years? That's how I plan, my nigga. I don't plan for the day or tomorrow. I plan for the next 10 years to come, nigga. How this money gonna be coming in from 10 years from now, nigga? That's how you gotta plan, my nigga. You gotta plan for the future, not for the day, nigga. The future, bruh. Period. Invest some my money, my nigga. It don't cost that much. Same little money you put on your Rolex, nigga. You can open a barber shop, nigga. A nail shop, nigga. A vape pen shop, a tobacco, whatever the fuck you... Nah, not a tobacco shop, because tobacco license costs. But I'm just saying, my nigga, you can go get fix up property, nigga. You can go to the Midwest, nigga, all through Detroit, nigga, buy, fix her up a property for less than motherfucking 5000 Four, five thousand, nigga, buy a fixer upper, nigga, and sell that bitch for, hey, thirty, forty thousand, however, get you a family in there, have them pay that off however you want to do it. But it's ways to flip your motherfucking money, bruh. Period. You know what I mean? And then black people, man, we gotta be, we gotta stop being so critical <coughs> when we spend with each other. You know what I mean? That's another thing. Support your black businesses, my G. Like, why do black people get so much scrutiny when they try to do something? Like, okay, you'll see a Mexican motherfucker in the middle of the street, man, selling motherfucking oranges and, and and fucking fruits, all types of shit. You'll pull right to the side of the motherfucking exit and grab all the motherfucking uh, strawberries without no question. You see a nigga out there, you're like, bruh, how long you had these goddamn strawberries? Where you get these fucking oranges from, bruh? Like, you're going to give a nigga a question just to feel good because it's a nigga. If a nigga out there selling hot dogs and shit in front of the club, just like a Mexican motherfucker. A Mexican motherfucker selling rolled up motherfucking hot dogs with bacon on it. You ain't asking them shit, man. Is the grill clean? Is this clean? You get a black motherfucker. You're like, bruh, is that grill clean? How old is the bread? How old is the meat? Like, you question black motherfuckers like, why is so much scrutiny on black businesses, bruh? You go to a nigga that owned a motherfucking clothing store, man. Now, you don't want the Macy's. You don't want the... Uh, Neiman Marcus, you don't want the Saks Fifth Ave and gave them motherfuckers what they want. You come to the local hip hop shop that your nigga own. Oh, bro, man, I ain't got that, bro. Like, give your nigga a deal, bro. I can't be paying 300, bro. I got, I got 100, but you just paid 700 for some fucking glasses from Louis Vuitton. Why is it so hard to spend with your brothers and it's an argument or some old stupid shit? Just spend with your brothers just like you spent that Louis Vuitton, bro. What's so hard about that to support your people? Period. Niggas is crazy out here and it's jealous and it's a crab in a bucket shit. You'd rather support the next motherfucker than support your friend because you don't want him to have more money than you. Are you mad he got more money than you? I ain't going to get no clothes from this nigga. I ain't going to get no haircut. Why? And you'll go spend with everybody else. That's the fucked up problem black people got, my nigga. Period. We don't trust ourselves to spend with each other. You know? I always got some fucking critiquing to do when it comes to somebody black. Prime example, man. Jordan Peele just put out the Us movie. I hate it. I got to keep on throwing the Us movie up. Prime example. Some million other movies came out. Soon as this motherfucker that, that's a black producer, black director, black movie, all black people, everybody got some fucking critique. Oh, man, it was this. Oh, it was whack. Oh, it was good. Oh, everybody's critiquing this black man's movie. Now, motherfucking Marvel and came, I mean, uh, Captain Marvel and came out. Nigga, Pet Cemetery about to come out. Chucky coming out. Nobody's critiquing that. Nobody's critiquing that shit. It just boom. It just came out. Nobody said shit about Captain Marvel being wacky shit. Hey, Marvel need to do better. Nobody said that. But it's a black movie, a black director, black actors. Oh, man, uh, it wasn't scary to me. It was a, oh, it was this. Like, fuck out of here, bro. You critiquing that because it's somebody black who did it. Now, if somebody else would have did it, you wouldn't have gave a fuck about it. You would have just watched it and enjoyed it. Why is it so much of a problem when somebody black do it? It's always a question. Why? Who? Uh, who? Uh, uh, that's right. Oh, that was uh Why? When why it's not no more critique on anything everybody else do? But you so much on your brother, so much on your sister, so much on the nigga that look like you. That's why he made the movie, nigga, us. Because us is our worst motherfucking enemies. Period. 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 No matter what you do for niggas, 
You could try to come back and save the neighborhood, man. They're going to hang you like they did Jesus, man. They hung God. Judas. It's a Judas in every crew. And Jesus showed us that, bro. It's a Judas in every crew. No matter what you do, you come to save the world. And this nigga sell you for 30, coin, 30 fucking silver coins. Pieces of silver. To the enemy. Sell you. You know what I mean? And you're God. He done witnessed miracles. But he's mad because he can't perform the miracles you perform. So he'll give you up. Give your life away. Just because he's mad, he's not you. Period, my G. We got to do better. Period. We got to do better, bro. We got to do better. He said, what's the calling number, man? I got to get that going, man. I got to get that going, man. How do you... Do Man, somebody uh really tap in, man. The chat room, tap in on how I do this shit, bro. Period. I'm just on my phone. I need to really log in on my computer and do it. <laughs> I'm just on the horn right now, tapping in on the horn. I got to learn this shit. I ain't got all the shit mastered. But as soon as I get this shit mastered, y'all going to be able to call in because I need that dialogue. I need people to really chop it up with a nigga. You know what I mean? Instead of me having to read all your comments, which is dope. I love y'all comments, man. Keep them coming. But that phone call, y'all can get straight to the point. You know what I mean? Real quick and easy. You dig? Because I see a lot of y'all explaining like I'm not seeing y'all comments, man. I see all y'all comments. I appreciate everybody that's in the motherfucking building, bro. You dig? Mm-hmm. You said you need another phone. Okay. Smoking that gas gas. You know it. Gas co in the motherfucking building, man. But yeah. Yep, you can't trust your own color. It's jealousy, man. It's the Willie Lynch shit. You know what I mean? We was taught to hate each other. We was taught to compete each other, compete with each other. We was taught this shit during slavery. You know what I mean? We was taught this shit. It was trained in, in the motherfucking fields. It was trained. You know what I mean? For the young to go against the old. You know what I mean? For the women, the young women to go against the old women, the old, you know what I mean? Men to go against the young men. And so on and so on. Crab in the bucket syndrome. Yeah. We jealous of the motherfucker that get to go in master house. You know what I mean? Oh, he get the he up there. He ain't a field nigga. He a house nigga. You jealous of the house nigga. So everybody been jealous of the house nigga. House nigga back in the day, well, the rich nigga. Everybody jealous of the house nigga. And it's to this day. That new house nigga is the nigga that done made it, basically. Nigga that done made it out the hood. You ain't in the field no more. That's the new house nigga. It's big. Mm. Bro, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But they just clipped me. I must have said some stupid, some crazy shit. You know what I mean? But man, it's crazy, my G. You see what happened when we support our own. You see what happened when FUBU was popping. One of the biggest motherfucking clothing companies. Urban. You see what happened when Fat Farm was popping. Baby Fat was popping. Sean John was popping. Rockerwear was popping. All these big, 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 big clothing companies from black people. You see what it did when we supported our own, bruh. Dada, all that shit. We could still support our own and take this shit to the next level. We don't. We don't, bruh. We fucking don't, man. Wu wear. All that shit. All the rappers. All, everybody had their own shit. You know what I mean? Esco. Everything. Everybody had their own shit. Nas was part of Esco. Everybody had their own shit, man. And the money was circulating within us, man. Period. It was circulating with us, man. Now the money circulate with other motherfuckers who don't give a fuck about you, bruh. Period. Like, as much as you critique your nigga, man, he got love for you. Period. These other motherfuckers don't got love for you. They don't even want you to wear they shit. They don't even want you to dry they shit. Period. Shout out to all you conscious niggas, man. Because I see you conscious motherfuckers like, kill the white man. Kill the white man. You motherfuckers driving a motherfucking European car. You shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Period. Quit creating that motherfucking racial division because we all need each other to make money who the fuck you gonna get that loan from a white man who the fuck you gonna get that business loan a white man so shut your bitch ass up man period talking about oh kill the white man well get the fuck out that bins nigga get the fuck out that range rover get the fuck out of all them european cars you driving you bitch ass nigga but you're talking about kill the white man kill the, kill the car you driving nigga i'm just saying kill the motherfucking belt you win I'm tired of this fake ass shit. People trying to steer people wrong, man. Without unity, it's strength in numbers, bro. Every race count. Quit doing that dumb ass shit, bro. Period. Oh, kill the white man, but you in the motherfucking Mercedes Benz. I don't believe you. 
You need more motherfucking people. Kill the white man, but you in a, a fucking Rolls Royce? Nigga, you trying to hustle us and steer us wrong while your ass is steering in a motherfucking European car saying hate the white man. Nigga, if you hate the white man, you wouldn't drive a European car. If you hate the white man, nigga, you wouldn't pay your rent because you give your motherfucking uh, equity, I mean your motherfucking uh, escrow loan from a white man, a white bank. Motherfucker. Talking all this shit trying to create racial division, my nigga. You can't get a loan without the white man. You can't get a loan, a bank loan, commercial property loan, car loan, how, none of that shit. Without the white man. Behold, kill the white man. And you talk about all these motherfucking Benzes and, and Rolls Royces and shit. It's a white man company. You dork. These motherfucking black power people riding these Rolls Royces and these business and shit. Benzes and shit. Talking about kill the white man. Kill your stupid ass thinking, nigga. Because you got people steered wrong and your ass is riding a motherfucking Benz around a motherfucking America talking about fuck the white man. You tripping, nigga. Are you tripping, nigga? Every race count and every race brings shit to the table that we all can utilize. Quit preaching that motherfucking racial division, man. Period. And you driving a fucking European car. You ding dong. Fuck you. Period. Fuck all the bullshit. Period. You niggas is over here pulling a banana in the tailpipe. How the fuck you say, hey, black power, uh, fuck the white man, but you in a Mercedes Benz. You in a fucking Range Rover. Those are German cars. You ding dong. Niggas are stupid. And you believe in these motherfuckers. And you believe in these fake ass black power people. You ain't black power, nigga. You ain't driving nothing black on, nigga. Everything you drive is white on, nigga. Everything you rocking is white on. Motherfucker. Tired of stupid ass shit, man. Every race got shit they bring to the table, whether it's Asian, Mexican, white, black. Everybody brings shit to the table that we all utilize to make money and live great. Period. That's it. That's what America was built on. All different races bring the shit together to make America what it is today. Quit preaching that racial division, man. Period. Fuck that. Everybody, man, get together and get some mud money. I don't give a fuck what race you are. Come together like butt cheeks, no Frank Ocean, and get that money, my nigga. Use each other resources. Partner up with each other and figure this shit out, man. Because the way they steering y'all, the way this president is steering y'all, you're doing the same shit the president doing. You black niggas. You black uh, 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 conscious niggas. Hey, fuck the white man. Hey, 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 hey. Nigga, fuck out of here, man. And you niggas driving business, nigga. Fuck out of here. If it's fuck the white man, set your Benz on fire, nigga. Set your Range Rover on fire. Set your Rolls Royce on fire, nigga. Set your Tesla on fire. Since it's fuck, uh, since it's fuck the white man. All right then, shut your bitch ass up, man. I don't want to hear that conscious shit when niggas driving Benzes and Teslas. Fuck y'all. Period. I'm sorry. Y'all can't let these niggas steer y'all wrong, bro. He said black people are the only one that shares and cares, but nobody cares about us. That's untrue. That's untrue. That's untrue. And all races fuck with us. I admit. That we are the most lenient far as hip-hop culture. Let's go there. Hip-hop culture has taken over the world. And we have let anybody, any race come in our culture. Like I said, you just seen a hip-hop dude. Nas, Lil Nas or something, Lil Nas. He just did a country slash trap. And he was number one on the Billboard country. They took him off. Saying that he's, it's, it don't meet the criteria of country music. So that lets you know they're not letting us in their motherfucking cultures. Period. But we let anybody, white, Asian, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cuban, whatever it may be, Russian, Armenian, everybody can enjoy hip-hop because we ain't suckers like that. Period. But you're not going to see a black mariachi uh, singer. <coughs> you're not going to see a black nigga <coughs> or a Chinese New Year up under a dragon, you know, dancing with a dragon because it's not allowed. Period. We the only ones that allow people to come in our culture, get money in our culture, rape our culture, and go back home. You know what I mean? Period. So black people, you know what I mean? Focus on how to control your culture, man. Be your owner, not a loner. Control this shit so when they do come, you get money off of them. Period. You get money off of it. You know what I mean? You get money off the shit. They got to come through you. Salute Jay Prince, you know what I mean? Irv Gotti and Suge Knight, they was going to start one of the first, you know what I mean, in hip-hop. You know what I mean? It already been done with Sam Cooke and his business partner as far as the publishing company and the uh, the, uh, the the record label, but Suge, 
Jay Prince, Irv Gotti was going to make the first black distribution. You know what I mean? Like a Warner Brother, a Universal. They was going to make that. They seen that going down and they stopped it. And they used police, alphabet boys, all types of people to stop that shit. So, if you know how powerful that is, bro, we need to accomplish that. Quit giving your money to these motherfuckers that's giving you a loan. And own it. What's hard about putting your own money into yourself? Bet on black. Bet on yourself all the time, nigga. That same money you bought jewelry with, you could have paid for your album cover, your mixing, your mastering, could have pressed up some copies and sold that shit out your trunk and made probably four times the money that you spent. Probably, period, that easy. Bet on yourself. Have faith in yourself. Oh, man, fuck that. Uh, I'm going to go to the uh, the big label and uh, get this little advance and uh, they own me. Nah, nigga, fuck that advance, nigga. That's mental. That's musical slavery, bro. Them contracts are slavery, bro. How the fuck they get a piece of everything? That ain't never happened. See if that's a motherfucking contract in rock and roll or pop that got a 360. I'll wait. See if a motherfucker getting a 360 in country. I'll wait. See if a motherfucker getting a 360 in any other music genre but rap. I'll wait. Period. Stop motherfucking selling your soul for a fucking advance, man. Stop selling your fucking soul for advance for a loan, bro. Be an owner. Not a motherfucking loaner, bruh. A record deal is a loan, my nigga. You got to pay that back with the smallest interest, nigga. You got to pay for everything. Anything, nigga, from pressing up your units, nigga, from marketing, nigga, promotion, flights, dinners, nigga, everything. You got to pay for that, nigga. Mixing, mastering, every beat on your album, every feature, every fucking sample. You got to pay for that. Not the record label. They just give you a front. They just give you a loan to pay for it. Once your shit come out, you got to pay that back and then some. Fuck being a... Loner, be an owner, period. Be an owner, bruh. Quit letting these motherfuckers own you, bruh, period. I just found out a publishing deal is 30 fucking years. Keep your publishing. Don't even sell your publishing, bro. I didn't know that. 30 years. So when Kanye said he can't get out his publishing deal because it's for 30 years, nigga, you only been 10 years in. You got 20 more years, nigga. Good luck. Niggas don't read the fine print. Niggas taking these publisher deals. Yeah, I got a publisher deal for $2 million. I got a publisher deal for $5 million. Yeah, nigga. For 30 years, though, nigga. They, you don't read the fine print. Quit selling your motherfucking soul. Man, now Kanye Craig, they won't let me up. They won't let me retire yet because you signed for 30 years, nigga. So whatever $10 million, $20 million you got, it looked it great. But 30 years look even worse, nigga. Period. Quit taking a motherfucking loan, man. We got own shit. Period. Kanye ain't supposed to be taking no fucking publisher deal. He's supposed to be giving out publisher deals. You're supposed to own your own publishing company and give niggas deals. Give niggas the same money you gave, they gave to you. And you own a nigga publisher for 30 years. No. Your college dropout ass. Want to go sign a motherfucking deal. Now they own you for 30 years. Now you're stuck. And you're crying. Oh, they won't let me out. I don't want to buy my shit. No, you can't buy it. You signed for 30 years, nigga. Is what it is. Boo hoo. Period. Read between the fine print, my nigga. Niggas signed for 30 years. 30 years. Every publisher deal was 30 years. Who knew that? Nigga, I signed the Me and Nub signed the publisher deal. We didn't know that. We almost done. We like 25 years into our shit. We got five more years, but god damn. 30 years, nigga? Shit. Who knew they was signing up for that? You know what I mean? So don't let these motherfuckers milk you out of your money, man. 30 years, I could have made more publishing than that little advance. Way more publishing than that little ass advance they gave me. Period. But you want the advance. You want the loan. Be an owner instead of motherfucking loaner, bruh. Facts. You know what I mean? I'm trying to give y'all some game, my nigga. Period. Nigga said crooked preachers, man. Whatever y'all want to call them, man. They're going to wiggle you out your motherfucking mom, mom, bro. Period. And you're going to owe more than you make, bruh. Period. Fact. Facts, my G. KC in the building. What's happening? You know what I mean? KC in the motherfucking building, black people get that money. You know what I mean? For real. They have stolen rap from us. Facts. They stealing our culture from us, my nigga. It ain't gonna be ours no more, my nigga. They didn't change this shit to the singy singy shit to where you can't even be on the, the radio unless you singing some out of tune shit, nigga. Nigga, they're just pure rapping gas. It's very few, my nigga. Everybody on the radio is singing and lullabying like a motherfucker. They trying to change it to pop, nigga. They trying to change this shit to pop. They trying to make a new lane for pop with our culture. Because that shit is dead. 
Pop is dead, rock and roll is dead, heavy metal is dead, and country music hanging on by the string of their fucking teeth. Period. It's the, we, we run this shit. We the biggest culture in the fucking world. Everybody want to be black. So if you know that, nigga, capitalize on it. Just like every other race capitalize on they shit that they bring to the table, man. Period. Everybody want to be black. I don't give a fuck if you're white, Mexican, Chinese, whatever. Everybody want to be black. Want to be hip-hop. Everybody say the slang words. Everybody, you know what I mean? Nigga this, nigga that. Hey, nigga, and you ain't even a nigga. But nigga this, hey, my nigga. Hey, no. Asian guy? No. You're not a nigga. No, Asian man. No. My nigga, my nigga, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Niggas say nigga to each other. Not nobody else. But we, we done let them take over the culture so much they can say nigga. They say nigga all day, and we just like, oh, man, everybody can say nigga. Murder move. Everybody can say nigga. Hey, a white bitch call a nigga a nigga. Hey, oh, oh, oh you white guys in my neighborhood. We always let them say it. No, you didn't, nigga. No white nigga ever in your fucking hood in the projects was ever to say shit. You know what I mean? Period. Let alone even walk in your projects. Nigga, you talking all this shit. Fuck out of here, man. Period. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? No white dude is ever able to walk through the neighborhood without getting beat up and robbed, my nigga. How the fuck you talking about some white dude was able to say nigga? When? I cool. Nigga, I don't believe you, murder mook. You was trying to kiss that bitch ass, try to get some pearl, my nigga. Pig, you slid the whole black race under the bus to try to get that pussy, nigga. I hope you fuck. Nigga, I hope you fuck doing all that, nigga. Murder mook. Told this white, this, uh, white chick that she's black and she could say nigga because some dudes in Harlem... That you grew up with, some white guys were saying niggas, and you could, man, fuck out of here, man. You know, Harlem is the, one of the blackest fucking cities back in the day. Like, black power, nigga. How the fuck, nigga, black power, African nigga, back in the day. What he talking about, he grew up in the X-Clan and, 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 and fucking uh, Brand Newbie and, and, you know what I mean? This is motherfucking uh, God Body. In the 80s and the 90s, it was God Body. You were growing up in this era. It wasn't no white motherfucker walking around Harlem talking about nigga and a guy body. You know what I mean? Uh, you feel me? Seven, five percent of, you know what I mean? No, 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 no. Public enemy? No, you tripping. You tripping. No, that never happened, murder mook. And that's when you grew up in that era. That's when you was a little nigga. When brand new beans was popping, when public enemy was saying, fight the power, no white motherfucker was walking through Harlem saying, nigga, and it was accepted. Shut the fuck up, murder mook. Nigga kissing up to that bitch trying to get some pussy, my nigga. Fuck out of here, man. Niggas to sell they soul, my nigga. When I was growing up, uh... You know, white guys was walking through Harlem and, you know, he like one of the niggas, man. He, he say nigga and we didn't trip. Fuck out of here, nigga. There was way too much black power shit going on in the late 80s and the early 90s, nigga. To let that go down, murder mook. And that's when you grew up as a little kid, nigga. So stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, nigga. Say, yuck me. Oh, come on, man. Period. I mean what I say. Uh, he's talking like the new people he around. Yeah, whatever, my nigga. Don't slide your whole race up under the bus for some pussy, my nigga, for some pearl, my nigga. Period. You could have got that bitch without sliding your race. You know what I mean? Just being you. You don't have to slide your race. Hey, you, you, you're black. This bitch pure white than the motherfucker. You're black. You're half black. No, she ain't, nigga. Stop it. Niggas is crazy, bro. Then slide your brother. Joe Button under the, under the bus for this bitch. Oh, 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 shit, oh. I lost so much respect from Mother Mook. Period. From that shit. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people lost respect for me. For me doing my lives and shit, talking my shit. A lot of niggas love my music and, and the shit that I brought to the table. But this is a different animal. Sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't. I'm here for the people who like it. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Oh, well, nigga. Tune in to somebody else. Period. But right now, we rocking. Period. And I'm talking to people who rock with me, nigga. That's it. You know what I mean? But when you get to know a motherfucker, you get to like him or you can get to dislike him. And with that shit, I got to dislike, you know what I mean? Murder move, man. Period. That was some bullshit, nigga. We need the uh the wave cat murder move back. I don't know who this new nigga is, but we need the wave cat murder move, nigga. Period. The smack DVD murder move, nigga, against Low Deluxe. Not this new nigga, bruh. Period. I'm gonna leave that nigga alone, though. Leave that boy alone. Ah, cool. You did.
Young Mouth TV, man. Subscribe to your guy, man. The only reason why I say subscribe to your guy, my nigga, so when I go live, you get that notification, my nigga. You got to know when I'm going live, man. It's not IG. You know what I mean? If you ain't subscribed, you ain't going to get that shit across the screen when you can't go live. Subscribe to your guy. I don't say this shit just to say it. I say it for y'all to get these alerts and y'all be tapped in when I go in, my nigga, because I go the fuck in, my nigga. Period. Sharif edition. We ain't clowning. Pure Sharif edition, my nigga. You did? Yada da. Subscribe to your guy, my nigga. You gonna get some good shit. You know what I mean? Some clowning around, and you gonna get the real, my nigga. Period. This is pure real edition, though. Sharif edition. I never do a Sharif edition. All oh, Sharif, nigga. Wake your ass up, nigga. Period. Be a owner, not a loner, my nigga. Be a owner, not a loner, man. Own some shit. Own some land, man. Let's play prop. Let's play Monopoly. Real life Monopoly, my nigga. Let's put some pieces on the board, my nigga. You dig? Every time a nigga land on your property, you got to cash out. Period. Let's put some pieces on the board, my nigga. It's easy. It ain't that hard. It ain't that hard, my nigga. Period. The same how you get a loan to buy a luxury car. The same how you get a loan to buy. for college. You could get a business loan, nigga. A small business loan. And do your one motherfucking two. And if you can't get a business loan, man, you can get some business partners. Everybody got the same vision, same mission. Everybody put it in together. And y'all do it yourself, my nigga. It's that easy, my nigga. Period. Ain't nothing hard about it. Ain't too hard about it, my nigga. Ain't nothing hard about it, my nigga. Yo, what's up with Looney Coleone? I don't know. What happened to Looney? He said, your drink uh, champs interview was one of the best on the podcast. Salute, man. Yada da. Nigga said, message. <laughs> message. <laughs> the nigga from Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> Don't Be a Menace. Papa, <laughs> message. <laughs> That's me today, man. Pure message, man. And, um. Let me tell y'all, man, uh, don't live beyond your means, man. Live comfortably, my nigga, and live happy. Don't try to do some shit that you can't afford to do. I repeat, don't try to do some shit you can't afford to do, my nigga, because you'll go broke doing that shit. You'll go broke trying to impress these bitches, trying to impress your homeboys who don't give a fuck about you anyway. So why are you even doing it? Going to broke trying to, you know what I mean, look like these big boys, you know what I mean? I blame this shit on BMF. A lot of it on BMF, man, because a lot of niggas out there trying to be big meeks, these ball players, these entertainers, everybody trying to go in the club, throw up 100, throw 200. You ball players, that hurts you, bro. You got to pay about three or four games, nigga, to get that money back. You got to wait a half a month, nigga. You get paid on the first and the 15th. Nigga. You got to wait a half a month to get that back. You hurt. Nigga, big meeks, nigga, was worth 500 million. So if he go to the club and throw up 100, nigga, that's like 10 cent out of $500. <laughs> that ain't, no, that is, that's a penny out of $500, bro. He could do that every day. How many pennies you got $500, bro? Period. That ain't shit to a nigga with 500 million. You niggas only got a million and trying to throw a hundred in the air, my nigga. Stop it. Stop it. You're breaking yourself trying to be like somebody that was the ultimate. He out there Puffy, he out there Jay-Z and all these niggas. How you gonna try to outdo this nigga, man? Or be like this nigga, man? That had 500 million in the bank. Now, 500 million stash somewhere. A nigga with 500 million. So he could go to the club every day of the week and throw 200 grand in the motherfucking air and not miss it. Can you niggas do it without nigga waiting a half a month to get that NBA check? <laughs> that NFL check? Ouch. That hurt. That hurt, my nigga. Period. Stop trying to be BMF, man. Stop trying to be these dope dealers, my nigga. That you not, man. Period. That got money to blow, my nigga. Period. You ain't got money to blow like that. These motherfucking ball players is living check to check just like these rap niggas, man. Period. Ah, cool. <laughs> Stop living above your means, my nigga. Stop living above your means, ball players and entertainers. The same 50,000, the same 100,000 you threw up in that club, nigga. You could have opened so much shit. You could have did a recreation for the center for the neighborhood, hell of shit, but you just threw it in the air, nigga. Trying to be the next big meat. And the next, you ain't even the next little Meech, nigga, let alone the next big Meech, man. So stop it, nigga. Ha, cool. Look cute. <laughs> Y'all niggas breaking yourself, man, to impress these motherfuckers that don't give a shit about you, man. You know what I mean? Create a foundation, man, that can feed you and your family forever, my nigga. Fuck impressing these niggas and these bitches, because these bitches fucking everybody. You know what I mean? And these niggas don't give a fuck about you. They'll fuck you over, nigga, if you're shining too hard on them, now, nigga. 
fly on the radar, man. Invest wisely. Be an owner instead of a motherfucking loner, man. Because anything else is a loan. Advance is a loan, my nigga. You got to pay it back. You feel me? You got to pay it back. You did. This teaching niggas how to be real independent with this rap shit. You know? Nigga said smash the like button. Yeah, hit the like button. All that, man. Hit the like buttons, everything, man. If you like what I'm spilling, man, fuck with the kid, man. You know? He said what I think about uh, JT and Lavish. I really have no clue. I seen JT going in. I'm like, what the hell just went down? You know what I mean? I seen JT going ape shit, man. Um, like I say, man, I don't wish no beef between no brothers right now just because, you know what I mean, how Nipsey just got, you know what I mean, killed. You know what I mean? I wish no beef with no brothers, man. So hopefully them two brothers could squash it, man, because it's too much unnecessary, stupid-ass beef going down over a misunderstanding. Now, if it's been real demo tapes, demonstrations, then hey, man, here's what it is, man. Revenge is the key. But if it ain't been no demo tapes, nobody got shot, stabbed, stumped. <laughs> Niggas is, you know what I mean? I think it could be worked out, man. Um, shout out to both of them brothers. I have respect for both of them brothers, man. Period. Hopefully they work it out. You did? Facts. Man, this bait, man. I mean, this beef, period, is just stupid, man. If two motherfuckers have a disagreement, man, y'all don't fuck with each other, just don't fuck with each other. I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with me. I ain't got to be tongue wrestling back and forth and diss songs and shit. I don't fuck with you, fuck you. That's it. I ain't about to be tongue wrestling with niggas, man. Fuck that. I tongue wrestle with my wife only. That's it. Nigga got proud with me. Oh, well. <laughs> Get over it, nigga. Period. Other than that, I'm cool. I'm cool. I no time to be worried about what a nigga think about me. Oh, well. Shit. You feel me? Yada that out. Yada that out. He said, Young Thug tripping, man. I don't know what the fuck is going down with Young Thug, man, but he, he on one. Oh, yeah, they say JT want the fate. Hey, man, it is what it is, man. Yeah, he did invite everybody to a fate. Mm hmm. All that shit is bullshit. I just think niggas need to chop it up, figure out what it need to do, you know what I mean, to resolve the shit, man, and get to the bag, man, period. Beef never made money. Beef always was some shit to fuck everybody up and not make no money, to create separation, man. So, unify, get this money, man. Fuck the separation. It's strength in numbers. You dig? Straight up. There's only strength of what Nipsey went through, man. Like, nobody want to keep going through that shit, man. Stupid ass internet beef, stupid ass beef in the neighborhood. All that shit could lead up to what happened to Nipsey, man. Just a misunderstanding. Nipsey ain't did nothing to this man but an argument. You know what I mean? It ain't no demonstrations. Nobody got, you know what I mean? Just an argument. And the man still came with the maximum force. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, avoid beefs. Avoid arguments if you can. And nip shit in the bud, man. Because... Too many people dying over an argument. Niggas is dying over a fight. Nobody's fighting no more. You can slap a nigga. He gonna hit the corner with a pistol, man. Period. Because of pride. He couldn't take getting slapped. Instead of fighting back. Okay, you got slapped. Fight back. You gonna hit the corner with a gun and shoot innocent people. Because you can't shoot straight. You ain't in the shooting range. So you just spray up everything. Hit everybody but the nigga you want to hit. All because you didn't want to fight. So at the end of the day, man, to avoid that, chill the fuck out, man. Slow down, Turbo. Hi, cool. And you don't have to deal with that, period. So here's a motherfucking uh, PSA. Any nigga that got beef with me, man, you won. I ain't got no beef with nobody, nigga. Anybody talking shit about me, man, you won, my nigga. Because I ain't about to respond. I ain't answering shit. I'm cool, my nigga. Hi, cool. Period. Anybody who got beef with me, you won. I quit, nigga. Period. I quit. I don't want beef with nobody, nigga. If you dislike me, man, hopefully you get over it. But uh, from me to you, you won. I'm not about to be tongue wrestling, going back and forth with niggas. If niggas got a problem with me, oh, well, man. You win some, you lose some, man. You dig? <coughs> it's the yin and the yang. They gonna love you and they gonna hate you, man. Period. Oh, well. Life goes on, my nigga. Period. But anybody who got beef with me, you won. Period. I don't want no beef with nobody, man. It ain't safe out there. Period. Anybody I ever did business with and had a problem with my business practices, get over it, my G. 
I try to help you, my nigga. Nobody ever helped me, though. Nobody ever said, hey, man, yuck, man, what you need? Man, I got this hookup on this label. I got this hookup. Nobody ever did that for me. But I did that for niggas that hate me. So any nigga that still hate me, man, get over it, bro. Think of what I've done for you, man, and what you've done for me. And add that up, my nigga. Then we could talk. Other than that, my nigga, God bless, you know? God bless. I hit you up for booking for a show. Yeah, man, uh, DM me. DM me. Hit that DM button on IG. Go to IG at Raise Name General. DM me about real business inquiries. And let's get it. What name is for a good bank account? Um, I'm going to tell you what the best thing to do for a bank account is to... Uh, to incorporate because the LLC, all that shit costs the same price. 800 800 you know what I mean, to get it going. Whether it's LLC or whatever, it's going to cost. I think the uh, DO, DOA, doing business ass, uh, is the cheapest. But you still got to pay the yearlies. The yearlies is the same price as a corporation, my nigga. So you might as well incorporate. When you incorporate, everything in your business becomes a write-off, my nigga. So all my studio equipment, you know what I mean, is a write-off. All my clothes for my, my shows I do is a write-off. All my flights, all my hotels is a write-off. You, you get it? Anything that got to do with your business is a fucking write-off, bro. You know what I mean? So, if you have a a, a company, a, a, say a, a fucking vape pen company, all them vape pens is a write-off. The fucking lease is a write-off. You know what I mean? If you're riding a company car, a company lease, it's a write-off, man, nigga. And that all comes from incorporating, you know what I mean? Period. Or LLC, you know what I mean? So, hey, man, get smart with this shit, man. Do what the white boys do. Do what the rich boys do. And I, I say what the white boys do, what the rich boys do. Because there's a lot of rich motherfuckers that ain't white. So do what the rich boys do, man. Incorporate, you know what I mean? And uh, everything's a tax write-off. It's like you got it for free, my nigga. You dig? You got to step up, man. Get the game, man. You got to get the game, man. You dig? Facts. But the thing about owning a business, you don't get a tax return. So everything you make, you have to pay taxes on. So that's why they give you a tax write-off because a lot of your expenses is on running a business. You get it? So boom, there you have it. Game, game, game. Lace your shoes. Yada da, huh? Now you fuck with the kid, you gonna get it. I'm gonna give it to you right, my nigga. This is more than just a nigga talking shit about what goes down daily and, and hip-hop news or whatever. I get y'all the business, my nigga. I lay y'all shoes, man. I want y'all to be young entrepreneurs. I want y'all to be laced up in these streets and know how to move so y'all don't get killed or fucked over. And I want y'all to have fucking fun, man, with the SIG committee. We gonna clown shit. We gonna SIG. And we are gonna have fun in this bitch, you dig? But this is Young Mouth TV, man. You don't get this shit at nowhere else, man. Because everybody trying to get a... Uh, 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 monetize. Uh, this shit ain't monetized. This shit ain't monetized at all. Nigga, I'm on suspension for putting niggas' music up. So none of this is monetized. I do this for y'all, my nigga. Period. I do this for y'all, my nigga. Get y'all the game. I couldn't be in the neighborhood talking to niggas, but I could talk to y'all right now, bro. Period. And I'm gonna give y'all the game. That's it. You know what I mean? Pure Sharif edition. Give you the game, my nigga. That's it. Lace your shoes, man. You know what I mean? Make you a better person, a better businessman, a better rapper business person, a better entertainment business person, a better motherfucker. Period. That's it. That's the mission, man. You know? Sharif edition. You know? Sharif motherfucking edition, bruh. Flat out. Mm-hmm. Flat out, man. Everybody can't be Big Meech, my nigga. Everybody can't be Big Meech, man. Quit living beyond your means, man. Quit living beyond your fucking means, man. Plan for the future. Plant some seeds, man. That's going to work 10 or 20 years later. And it's going to keep on bringing bearing fruit. Plant them seeds right now. You can still keep bearing fruit 10 years later. That's what it's about 20 years later. Shit that you can pass down to your kids and your family and everybody can run it. Family business. That's the mission, my friend. Whether it's real estate or commercial property. Or just owning your own businesses, whether it's clothing lines or whatever the fuck it may be. Do it. The same little money you're spending on them goddamn Cuban chains, them goddamn Rolexes, man, you can start a business with it, man. Period. It's that easy. Once you start your business and it start to thrive and you make a shitload of money, then you go splurge on your little shit because you got extra money, man. You done planted that seed and it bear fruit. When you bear fruit, you can eat. You dig? So, boom. That's how you do it, my nigga. Like I said, Nipsey wore that goddamn motherfucking Malcolm X chain and that Rolex for the longest. 
and kept planting seeds and bare fruit. Then start getting all the other shit in hell in there. After he bare fruit, after he owned them companies, after he owned a fat burger, after he owned his own clothing store, after he owned the whole shopping mall. Then the niggas start buying the jewelry and shit and all that. Like, come on, man. You got to invest into shit that's important. Period. That's it. And that's what Nipsey did. Invested into shit that was important. And then once it bear fruit, you could, man, come on. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. As you should. Period. And he enjoyed the fruits of his labor. Period. Start balling out. Start stunning hella hard. Period. But that comes after you plant your seed and let the fruit grow. Better. I'm just letting y'all know, my nigga. I got to start from somewhere, my nigga. Money just don't pop out of nowhere. You got to start from somewhere. You usually start from the bottom. You never start at the top, my nigga. It's a grind. It's a hustle. It's a grind. It's a hustle, my nigga. Period. You know. <laughs> yeah, niggas crazy. Mm hmm And look, let's talk about the law of attraction. Let me give y'all niggas this real spiritual game, man. Let me give y'all the spiritual game, man. The law of fucking attraction, man. Watch it think. Watch what you think and watch what you say. In the Bible, it say the uh, the tongue is a two-edged sword. You wonder why niggas get offended by what you say from your mouth. The most offended. Like, you could beat a nigga up. He don't feel as offended as he feel from a nigga talking shit from his mouth. You dig? The tongue is a two-edged sword, my nigga. You know? Watch what you say out there. When you think negative thoughts, negative shit happens. My nigga Keek the Sneak taught me this, and I always remember this. I can't afford the luxury of a negative thought. He said this when I was um when we was out there um with Mac Dre. You know what I mean? Right before Mac Dre died. Three days before Mac Dre died. We was out there um in KC. You know what I mean? We all out there, Mac Mall, Keek the Sneak, uh, um, uh the My Figures, Mac Dre, we all out there doing the show. And Keek had gotten a fight with Mac Maul. You know what I mean? And I, right after the fight, man, I went to his room and we was talking and shit. And we was, you know what I mean? Niggas was riled up and all that. Like, nigga, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he was like, yo, man, chill. I can't afford the luxury of a negative thought, my nigga. Period. You know? I can't afford the luxury of a negative thought. Quit thinking negative shit. Always think positive shit, man. You know what I mean? Um... Always think positive, never think negative, because that shit can happen in real life, my nigga. That shit can happen in real motherfucking life, man. Period. Speak shit into existence. Speaking into existence, my G. Prime example, Lil Wayne, for the longest, when he wasn't, was saying, I'm the best rapper alive. I'm the best rapper alive. When he came with the first card and the second card, he kept preaching that, I'm the best rapper alive. By the third album, that nigga was the best rapper alive. He was on top of the fucking world. You did? You could preach that shit into existence, my nigga. Wayne preached him being the best rapper alive until he was, at that time, was the best rapper of fucking life with his grind and the shit that he was doing. You could speak that shit into reality, bro. You dig? There's plenty of times when I didn't have a car that I wanted. You know what I mean? I didn't have jewelry that I wanted. And I said it on the rap. Like, ah, oh, I got the new whoa, 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 new I whoa, whoa. And shit, before the album come out, I have everything that I talked about. So when the album come out, I'm really living the shit that I say. And, and it always happened like that. I say, boom, new whoa, whoa, new this, new what, right? And that's thing you know, I have it. Because I spit it in the universe and the universe answered, bro. You dig? Like, literally, I live by this shit. Like, it works. It fucking works. And it could work negative or it could work positive. So think positive thoughts. Speak positive things. You know what I mean? It could happen. A lot of shit I predicted on my songs that I never had. Never had. You know what I mean? Predicted it and it happened. You know what I mean? So, or said it. I ain't predicted, but said it. Spoke it. You know what I mean? Spoken into the universe and the universe answered. My G, I don't care what you call God. We all different tribes from different parts of the world. 
So we got different styles of praying and different uh, names for God. But God answer all prayers. All prayers, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Buddhist, whether you're Baptist, Catholic, whether you're Jewish, you know what I mean? Whatever you may be, everybody's blessed that believe in the higher spirit, period. You dig? You got to think. Now, this real Sharif. Sharif take you out of church. You got to think, man. Everybody, but I don't believe in God. I don't believe in God, bro. What make the motherfucking sun and the moon and the stars and the galaxy go? What make the earth, wind, and fire go, my nigga? What make the water waves and, the, you know what I mean? What make that go? You know what I mean? What make the, where the fucking animals, mammals, and all this shit come from, man? What make the ants? Why the trees and shit and all that shit got life too? Trees is life. They living. You know what I mean? Grass is life. It's living. You watch, nigga, I done watched a, a seed of marijuana like fast time just growing to a big ass plant. Like this is life, bro. Everything is life around you. What make this shit work? The master of the universe, no matter what you call him, man. God answer all prayers, man. Period. So be spiritual. You know what I mean? No matter what you believe in, as long as you believe in God, no matter what name you call him, he going to definitely answer your prayers, man. Period. Period. Facts. All people who believe in God, no matter what religion, is blessed. Period. Facts. People were like, hey, man, I'll call him Jesus. I'll call him Allah. I'll call him, man, whatever you call him. He answering your prayer, bro. Period. Facts. Facts. Everybody's blessed that believe in God. Facts. And I believe highly in God. You know what I mean? I believe highly in God. That's why I'm blessed. That's why no matter what happens to me, I always come out, you know what I mean, good. Just come out good, man, no matter what happened. The God got his hands over me, got his hands over my family, got his hands over every everything I got to do with because I believe in him. You know what I mean? Period. Without him, it wouldn't be me. Without him, it wouldn't be you. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you got to believe and know where all this shit come from. It's a design. It's a design, man. For the sun to come out, then the moon to come out. It's a design, bro. The sun lights up the day. The moon lights up the night. It's a design, bro. Period. For you motherfuckers to be able to see in the woods and the forest and shit, whatever, to do your hunting and to be able to survive out here. That's life. It's a design, bro. If you don't see that, if you so blind, oh, man, it ain't no God. Then how the fuck the sun rise? It definitely won from technology. It definitely won from Tesla. It definitely won from the government. How the fuck is this moon in the air? It definitely won from the government. How these stars is in the air? How this lightning just struck? How this hurricane just came through? It definitely won from motherfucking the government. Period. It's God, my G. If you don't see the signs of God in front of you every day, you blind. You fucking blind. Birth. Birth. A lady having birth. That's God, the creation of life. God created life. A woman and you can create God, life just like God. That's God, period. So come on, man. Get spiritual, man, and you will be protected by the wings of heaven. You dig? Facts. You know? Now, when I say my little cuss words, man, that's English language. That's what they taught us. That's a cuss word. Man, God ain't say thou shalt not curse in the Bible. This is just language. You know what I mean? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not. The Ten Commandments. You know what I mean? They say thou shalt not curse. Cuss words is something American made. You know what I mean? Hey, we use those to get our point across. It's just words, man. But it's a vulgar word. It's a, ah. You know what I mean? But still, thou shalt not, man. Listen. Hey, it's just language. As long as I ain't kill nobody. As long as I ain't steal from nobody. As long as I ain't rape nobody. As long as I ain't, you know what I mean? Steal from my neighbor. The real commandments. This is language, bruh. I'm good. As long as I ain't saying God name in vain, I'm good, bruh. Period. I'm good, man. Period. I'm straight. God is great. Pray to a higher power. I'm a deep guy, my nigga. I'm a deep guy, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't play around with this shit, man. I don't play. Period. Well, harp could create weather. I mean, create weather conditions, but it grabs the element. It grabs the elements to make that happen. It grabs the elements. It shoots something in the air to electrify the clouds of God. Why well, the fuck them clouds? That's heaven, nigga. What? Create thunders, harder. Where would that come from? I don't give a fuck how many electrical shocks. What created that? That big ass shit that came through destroying cities and towns and shit. That big ass typhoon and that's heaven. 
What? The volcano, all that shit shooting lava. That's heaven. That shit is going. That lava keep going. Like, it don't stop. Lava don't stop. It's under the ground. That shit is milk. That shit is going. How's the lava and the shit exploding? Because the earth is alive. It's called Mother Earth. Earth is alive. Period. The grass you walk on is alive, man. Period. And they show you through the volcanoes. That's a rock that's alive. Rocks are alive. You got spiritual rocks and crystals. They're alive, bro. Everything alive out here, bro. Period. It wouldn't be here if it wouldn't have a spiritual vibration. Period. Everything on earth have a spiritual vibration. All things. Mother nature, bro. I'm going to get deep. He said, any paranormal story? Hell yeah. Definitely, bro. Spirits are real. Spirits are real than a motherfucker, man. I'm going to tell you, when my father died, right when my father died, like, drawers was opening and doors was closing. And I didn't have no fear. I'm like, oh, that's my pops. And I, like, holler at him. Like, what's up, pops? But literally, nigga, we are out. Me and my girl be watching a movie, man. And the motherfucking, some door that be open. Boom. Closed. I'm like, oh, yeah, they in the building. A motherfucking drawer open. Zoof. Like, woo. They in the building. Literally. Like, literally, I'm like, okay, Pops, what's up? What's up, Mom? I know who in the building. Period. I know they in the building. This shit is real. Spirits is real as fuck. Nigga, doors and closed, drawers and open, and all that. I, me and my wife done witnessed this shit. Like, okay, they in the building. We accept it. It's my mom, my dad, my grandma, somebody. Her brother. It's somebody. Period. It's somebody, bro. I'm going to give y'all the illest shit, bro. This is the most craziest spiritual story ever, right? My wife's brother is a uh, is a uh, charisma. He was signed to P Peter Butter. Him and Peter Butter Wolf had a label together, the uh, the Stones Throne. They was the first of it. So that's her brother. He 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 got killed. You know what I mean? A stupid, foolish death. You know what I mean? Some that he ain't had nothing to do with, but he got killed. Um, it was his birthday. I, I want to say last year. It was his birthday. A white wolf with green eyes. Was just laying on our porch. Laying on our porch. My wife comes from dropping my kids off or something. Pull up in the driveway. And the wolf just staring at her. Blue eyes all white. Cocaine white wolf. Cleaned in the motherfucker. Big. Full full blown. Laying on the motherfucker. Laying on our porch. He look at my wife and lay back down. Wife go in the house. My daughter come out. She see him on the porch and he start walking off. So my daughter followed this wolf and this nigga just walks and walks and walks and he boom, he bounced. My daughter said the wolf disappeared. She was following a nigga and she couldn't find him no more. He just vanished. Period. In front, vanished. Like she was, the nigga hit a corner and she went behind that corner. He was gone. Like nowhere to be found. Period. So that was her brother. That's what, you know, visiting on his birthday. That's what me and my wife took in conclusion. It was a white wolf. A white wolf with green eyes. I mean, blue eyes. Laying on our motherfucking... Listen, we ain't in no mountains. We ain't in no mountains. White wolf. A white... Uh, a, last, it was a husky. It was a husky. It, was a, it wasn't a wolf. It was a husky. A white husky. All white husky, bro. All white husky, bro. The day of his birthday. Just chilling. Where the fuck does all white husky come from? With green eyes, fully built, not hungry or nothing. I know starving, clean, clean, clean. All this shit is clean. It's pure white. You know what I mean? So yeah, you you'll have them experiences like around a birthday, around a death day. Yeah, they come visit. They definitely come visit, man. Definitely, man. You gotta be, man. Come on, you gotta be tuned in. You gotta be tuned in. I'm extra tuned in. Period. Extra tuned in, man. I done witnessed this shit, like yo. Like, I'm going to tell you how real God is, man. I had two near-death experiences, man. Knock on wood, man. Knock on wood, man. This is how good God is, man. Let me give y'all a spirit. I'm, um, I'm 10 years old. I'm downtown Oakland, and we used to do this shit called Adventures, where we hop from roof to roof and shit, like on some old, you know what I mean? On some old <coughs> New York shit, when they, I don't know, but when they, uh, what was it, New York City? Nigga with uh, uh, Ice T was chasing uh, Nino Brown. They was hopping roof to roof and shit. So downtown Oakland buildings, you know what I mean? So we hopping roof to roof and shit. <clears throat> so it's a terrace. You know what I mean? That's over apartment building. It had a long ass chain that connected to the terrace. Instead of me going down the chain, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to hang drop. 
So I hung drop, my nigga, and went straight through the motherfucking roof. Straight through the roof. I went through the middle of the roof, right? It's a terrace in front of a building. Went straight through the shit. It's glass. But I ended up at the end. But I went through the middle. But I ended up at the end, bounced off a light pole into some bushes. Look how God work. I could have splattered my motherfucking brains, bro. Going straight down. I don't know how. Nigga, blah! Landed on the light pole and was flipped into the bushes, bro. God is good. I fell, nigga, from three stories through a roof. Was supposed to hit the ground, nigga. Hit a, 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 a light, light lamp. Bam! Bounced off the lamp into some bushes, my nigga. God is great. I was supposed to land it, nigga. I was head first. Wow! Nigga, God is great. I fell through a motherfucking roof from jumping three story. Wow! Nigga, God is great. I know miracles, bruh. I know miracles, bruh. I know miracles. I know he keep me alive for a reason, man. Period. Fell through the middle, man. The hole was in the middle, but I was on the whole side. I was on the side that didn't even have a building. How did I land on the light pole that's on the side of the building? I went through the middle. The light pole was on the side, bro. I bounced off the light pole into the bushes, my nigga, that was on the side. I was supposed to drop through the middle straight through the ground, bro. Straight to the fucking ground, man. So I know God is good, my nigga. I know God got his hands over me. My G, I fell for four stories through a motherfucking glass terrace that's over the apartment. Nigga, and bounced off a light pole into the bushes. Look how God worked. And that's before anybody died. This before any of my parents died, my grandma. This just me being spiritual as a young dude. You know what I mean? God is good. You know? Miracles happen every day, bro. You just got to realize and recognize it. You know what I mean? I hate to turn this into church. <laughs> it feel like Sunday service, man. My bad. God is good. We going to end it on that. You know what I mean? You know, Judah, you are the chosen people he loves. The Israelites. God love everybody. You know, God love everybody, man. Period. Gotta stay balanced, man. Gotta stay balanced, bro. God is great. God is great. No, God is real, man. I bounced from the... The middle, I was supposed to go through the middle of the building. Ended up on the side of the building where the shit wasn't even at, where the terrace ends at. Bushes and the, and the light right there on the side of the wall. Bow, bounced off that. How did I get to that light? From the middle of the motherfucking roof to the side of the roof that ain't even part of the roof. Bow, bounced off that bitch into some bushes, landed safe. Whoosh. God is great, my G. Everybody came out that motherfucker thought I was a rat. Everybody ran. They came out that shit, I'm jumping out the bush. Like, whoo shit, what the fuck happened? And my butt hurt, nigga. I landed on my butt on that goddamn uh, light post. Blah, bounced off, period. God is great. God is great, bro, period. God is great, man. Never forget that, man. Never forget it's a master of the universe, man. Never be stuck into your own world, nigga. Oh, man, how, 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 how? Your kid show you that God is real. How did you have sex and a kid came out of, out of nowhere? A body came out of your body. That's God. You see God every birth, nigga. Period. That's real. This kid came from nowhere. Where the fucking spirit come from? No disrespect. Where the spirit come from? Where the body come from? That's God. That lets you know. Birth lets you know. You ain't construct this shit like a uh, weird science where they put the bitch together. It was some spiritual shit that happened. And a child came out. That's God in your face. <laughs> nigga like, hey man, God ain't real. Oh, God ain't talking. God is talking to you. It's called your inner voice, nigga. And you get a devil talking to you too. Follow your first mind, nigga. Your first mind is God. The second mind is a devil. Every time I ever went to jail. My first mind told me the way to get away from the shit. My second mind told me some other shit, and I fell for the second mind and always got caught and be in jail like, God damn, my friend, nigga, something told me to do this. You always get fucked up. Like, nigga, something told me. You should have listened to that something told me, my nigga. You got to be in tune with your spirit, in tune with that first voice and that second voice that talked to you. You know what I mean? You got to be in tune, nigga, you're always in the fuck. Nigga, something told me to pull over. Something told me not to... <laughs> Nigga, something told you was that godly voice talking to you. 
period, give me the guidelines on how to ride out here, how to survive out here. Then you listen to the second voice, which is the devil. You know what I mean? And you follow that. Oh, man, fuck that, man. I ain't tripping, man. Let me ride. <laughs> Nigga, you should have pulled over and jumped out. Nigga, my first mind told me to just pull over and just jump out and start walking. <laughs> it's too late. Nigga, you should have followed your first motherfucking mind, man. So... Be in tune with your spirit, too, because your spirit give you signs, man. You got to pay attention to them. You know what I mean? Got to pay attention. If you don't pay attention, man, you'll lose in life, period. Because you'll be in a fucked up situation saying, some told me not to do that. You dig? Some told me not to do this. And you're fucked up already because you didn't listen to that. Some told you. You get it? Come on, man. I'm giving y'all real examples of what goes down, nigga. You can just like, yo, this is real shit. Period. Nigga end up in a fucked up situation. Some told you to go to that party. Like, fuck that, man. Something like, man, it's going to be a problem. You're like, fuck that. I'm going to go chill with my nigga birthday party. That motherfucker get shot up. The nigga birthday, get, nigga birthday it is, get shot. Like, man, some told me not to come to this motherfucker. It's too late. <laughs> You're there. It went down. You know what I mean? So, always pay attention to your first mind, more the story. That first thought is the best thought. Second thought is the thought that gets you fucked up. You're not that. Go You're not gonna get this on YouTube nowhere, my nigga. I'm giving you niggas game, life, way to live in life, bro. Way to survive in life, bro. Nobody give you that shit. Everybody on some old hustle, 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 hustle shit. I don't give a fuck about a monetization, nigga. I got mun mun, nigga. I'm not a blogger. I'm not none of that shit. You see the shit on my wall, boy. I got mun mun. I got jewelry for every day of the week, cars for every day of the week. It ain't nothing, bro. Period. I do this shit to give y'all game. We couldn't do this shit on the block because we was too busy being entertainers. Uh, I'm going to get you out of the game. Period. Fuck the stupid shit. You did. Game for free, man. Lace your boots, man. Say yuck mouth sent you. <laughs> Y'all go to church, say yuck mouth sent you. <laughs> you did. I'm a real nigga out here in these streets, bro. I'm going to tell you the real. I ain't going to tell you the fake. I'm going to tell you the real, my nigga. I'm going to tell you what let me survive this long. It's still going to keep me surviving forever. You know what I mean? Rules of life. You know what I mean? Learn. Pay attention to your vibes. Your vibe. If you got a bad vibe, don't fuck with it. It's your spirit. You know? It's your gut. You got two brains. You got one right here and you got a brain right here. That's why you get the gut feeling. You always get something in your gut. It's two brains. And it, you know what I mean? Nah. It's a brain right here, but it's a gut with your, uh, with your, um, with your, uh, what they do when they meditate with your chakra. So it, your chakra brain. So here's your brain and then it's a chakra brain right here in your stomach. That's why you always get a weird feeling when something goes bad. Like, ah, oh, I don't feel it. You know what I mean? Like you always get it in your stomach. It's a chakra. It's a chakra right here that alerts you. So you got a brain alert, you got a chakra alert in your stomach. That's why you always get, oh, God, I ain't feeling this. It always comes from the stomach, my nigga. You dig? That's the shit that the Buddhists believe in. You know what I mean? The chakras. So everything is real. Like everything adds up together. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't take one from the other. All religions make one religion, man. Period. Facts. You can't take one from the other. The brain chakra is in your stomach. You dig? It's in your stomach, definitely. You know? Learn from your mistakes, man. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Bruh, that religion and science. We going deep. Deep Sharif edition, man. Y'all niggas got me going deep, bruh. Yeah, man, y'all niggas got me going deep. Y'all don't get me bleeped by them people. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to keep you out, you know. Nigga bro says solar uh polaris, okay. Plexus, solar plexus, okay. I get it. You know what I mean? I'm just letting y'all know the real. You know what I mean? Shit that I've mm -hmm. gathered in life. You know what I mean? Being a four year old, forty year old, forty four year old dude and surviving. Always follow your first instinct. Always pray. Always speak shit into existence. Always believe it will happen. You know what I mean? Always have faith in God. Period. That's it. You know what I mean? On that note, I'm out this motherfucker. Sharif that did his thing, nigga. Yeah, to that boy, boy. It's been a beautiful night with y'all, nigga. I just want to lace y'all shoes, man. Get niggas the right way to live, not the 
negative way to live, give niggas the right way to invest and to make money just like Nipsey. You know what I mean? It was a prime example, the blueprint of how to do it yourself and not need no motherfucking body else. Be an owner, not a loner, man. On that note, Yuck Mouth TV, subscribe to your guy. I'm out.